creating a new look at Hillary Clinton's State Department emails, and many Democrats are hoping Joe Biden gets a good look, the vice president weighing a run to become president. And draft Biden advisor Steve Shale hopes the Veep actually jumps in soon. What are you hearing, Steve? Well, I mean, we're hearing the same things y'all are hearing, that the vice president's very seriously considering this. I don't have any, any news on the, on the timeline he's working through, but... You know, our job at Draft Biden, frankly, is to go out there and talk to donors, talk to volunteers, try to build some infrastructure in the early states for him so that if he does decide to get in the race, there's a little bit of foundation for him there. Why would you prefer Biden to Hillary? Well, for me, this isn't really a choice. Uh, you know, uh, as I told a number of your colleagues, frankly, after five consecutive statewide races in Florida, I was looking forward to a, a year on the beach and not on a campaign office. <laughs> I just generally have a, 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 I generally have a good affinity for the vice president. Um, Got to know him a little bit during the 2008 election, and pretty much like anybody who spent any time with the guy, I came away really a fan. So uh, when but, it became but, but, obvious but that but he let was me, Steve, of- I mean, the obvious question to somebody looking at your position and other people that are for Biden is, it's got to be Hillary's email problems that are that are putting a drag in her, and that's why a lot of people want Biden to run. No, I mean, for me, it really is about Joe Biden. I mean, I think he's a unique uh, person in American politics. He's one of the few people. I think but Steve, Steve, I, 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 you know, I got to press you on this. Obviously, Hillary's troubles, the baggage that she's carrying with those emails is affecting a lot of people's view of Biden running. Well, you're probably not going to like what I have to say on this. But actually, I mean, there are a lot of folks who have been elected president who had really bad months of August in the off year. I, mean, I worked for one of them. So I don't think we really kind of know how that's going to play out. Uh, frankly, again, for me, I think that the vice president is one of the few people in Washington who's universally respected on both sides of the aisle. And you and I both know one of the problems we have in Washington right now is we have folks who don't talk to each other. Uh, we can't solve even the most basic you problems. You have Democrats that don't talk to each other. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, a lot Joe of people, Biden, a lot think, of people were complaining. A lot of Democrats were complaining about that concerning President Obama that he wasn't talking enough to Congress. Well, I mean, I'm looking forward here. I mean, what we have is you've got a, a guy who, again, who's who has been a part of, of solving pretty much every major debate between the White House and, and Congress in the last six years. Again, he's universally respected, and I think it, with his age, his seniority, uh, his relationships, I think he gives us a chance to actually deal with some of the pressing problems our country's been facing. He for is really a, he is going a great communicator, Steve. I, I, I agree with you 100 percent on that. I, I'm wondering about this statement that was attributed to him uh, that he would just run one term. If he ran, would he pledge to do that, and why? Well, again, I, I, you know, I, I don't have any insight on that. I've, I've not had a chance to talk to the vice president since I, I spoke up, uh, so I don't know what's in his head. But again, I think, you well, know, what would you the, like? Would you like person. him to run for two or, or would you be satisfied if he just said, I'm, I'm just going to do it one term? Hey, listen, at this point, I'm all in for whatever he wants to do. So uh, I, I'd, uh, if he wants to serve one year at one term, that's fine. If he wanted to serve two, I'd be there with him. But uh, again, I think that you know, what we don't need in this country is more divisive politics. And no, I think I, I, uh, I Joe agree Biden, on that. What about Liz Warren? Is, is Liz Warren playing a part at all in this? We know that he met with Liz Warren about a week ago. Again, I mean, I, you know, we know that the two of them spoke. Uh, the vice president's <laughs> doing exactly what he, you know, he's doing what I did when I thought about running for the Florida legislature, talking to opinion leaders and getting You're being advice. very and, discreet, uh, Steve, I must say. Well, I, w- I wish I had more insight than I do. I just I, I, I'm bet telling you, you have from a my little more insight. But uh, final, <laughs> final word. We we did hear yes. over the weekend. I think it was the Washington Post that suggested that he may actually wait until January to make a definitive decision. Could he wait that long? Isn't isn't January far too late to get into this race? Well, my suspicion is that he, he probably won't wait that long. Again, I don't know for certain. But I will say he starts with universal name ID. He's got a, na- a, nation, a, a nationwide, uh, sorry, national network of friends. I think he has the ability to raise money pretty quickly just based on the donors I've talked to in the last week. Mm-hmm. So I think for him the timeline is a little bit different than normal. And, and just to give you a little perspective, you know, there was a, the Quinnipiac poll that came out uh, a couple days ago that had him down, you know, about 25 points to Secretary Clinton at this point in the, in the uh, head-to-head nationally. Uh, at this point, in around November of 2007, so two months from now in the election cycle, President Obama was down about the same margin. Right. So, you know, there's still right. plenty of time. And he was, and President Obama was running at that time. Uh, Vice President Biden isn't running yet officially. Steve, thank you very much. Best of luck to you. Appreciate you coming in. Hey, really appreciate you having me on.